peace and blessings YouTube um, just finished listening to uh, a, the radio while I was in a car and um, it was this uh, lawyer named Charles Ogletree on that brought up the issue of um, black on black crime white on white crime and the fact that uh, the media biasly use the term black on black crime uh, just to put black people in a box um, give a negative uh, view of black folks and also uh, to uplift and make white people look like um, they're angels now first I looked him up as uh, to see you know what who Charles Ogletree was and I found out that he in fact is a Harvard professor and that he is a lawyer and he deals with more so crime and race and after I looked him up I found this one article of another Harvard professor her last name is Sweeney and I know some Sweeney's who are black she basically said that she uh, found that Google uh, when she put her name in as a search it would come up with advertisement that had to do with um, crime for her or being arrested or certain things relating to um, advertisements that deal with criminal records and she actually had taken that information and said you know I'm a computer scientist and she's a specialist in, da in data privacy and she ran you know white quote unquote white sounding names versus black sounding names to see if Google would trigger ads for criminal records and she found that the blacker sounding names brought up a whole bunch of things like the instant check made and you know online background checks um are you looking for your criminal record and now that I actually thought about it I have had the same exact um advertisements sent to me in an email it'll say my name and it would say my name um do you want your arrest record question mark okay Another article I found about distorting the truth was, um, you know, from this small time journal where the young lady explained that, okay, blacks are making up a lot of the crime, so are Latinos, but you know what? Blacks and Latinos were nine times as likely to be stopped by police in New York City. But one stop were no more likely to be arrested, they said. But that's what she said is the fact but my whole uh opinion towards that is how are they being stopped if, if they're not being profiled to be thought of as you know criminals um i also looked into um i went to the databases because you know like i said i am in school and um finishing up on my doctorate and I tried to look up different articles for um, Charles Ogletree what I did find is some really really good articles on race and crime um, that he spoke about um, you know race and the death penalty in America uh, he also talked about um, eliminating racial discriminatory use of the peremptory challenges meaning just like within the trip with the Trayvon Martin case having a jury that don't actually um, look like you you know or represent your population of people people are racist but here's one of my favorites and this is what this uh, particular video was about um, and this is to white people and black people whether you're black and you're being uh, uh, racist I guess you can say towards your own race or like an uncle ruckus like type or if you're white and you're racist here's the truth to it I found this one article I thought was you know great don't white people kill each other too uh, this was taken from statistics and it says here's the truth the largest racial group are whites and they commit the majority of crimes listen to this with respect to aggravated assault 
assault whites led blacks two to one keep on going forcible uh rapes two to one keep on going keep on going larceny theft and what they found out was guess what whites kill other whites see but what happens is is that we're hearing from the media constantly black on black black crime them using that label you know no one else speaks like that in other countries you know except in this racist uh uh uh, uh babylonian place you know called america and it's because of the fact that the caste system must continue it must continue but here's the thing okay Look around, you know, I don't know where you're at, not unless you're in the Midwest somewhere, but look around. Most of the people are living in communities with black folks in them. Some of you white folks, um, I see around where I at, a lot of the white people, because I'm a stay-at-home mom, I go to the store, a lot of those white folks got black grandbabies, you know. Stop it, you know, with the racism. All this stuff that's going on right now with the economy and with the impending craziness that's to come, it's going to affect the just and the unjust. Okay, I guess you can say it like that, but it's going to affect black and white. Black and white. Not saying that, you know, black or white is just and unjust, but it's going to, I'm, I'm trying to say it's going to affect everyone. It's going to affect everyone. So we need to stop believing in all the hype from the media that make you have these type of opinions against white folks or white people that make you have opinions about black folks or black people make you hate yourself and hate to see yourself. Now, here's something that I propose. I propose that when we see each other in the street, black, white, black to black, black to Hispanic, smile, say hello, you know, be kind. Don't play into the game of, you know what, they just might kill me or they just might harm me. Not saying don't watch your back. Now, don't be a dumb dumb. Okay, don't be a dumb dumb. You're not that stupid, right? But what I would say is just stop all the racism of who's better, who's doing what, and we don't do this and we don't do that. We're living in a cesspool right now of madness, and you all know that. So just, you know, stop all of the talk right now that's trying to promote people to act a fool in the streets that may even promote other things to come martial law and other things and think about what's probably going to happen down the road and i'm going to end it well i'm going to end it with this note what probably is going to happen what we have seen with all of these um uh charged type um cases or even um you know just things in the media it always follow with a change in the law so be prepared to see what the new law is about to be now. Be prepared, you know. And I would advise that you treat everybody as you want to be treated when you see them on the street and stop all the races and uh, and, and bias towards uh, you thinking you're better or even you thinking you're worse. All right, peace and blessings, YouTube.